So yesterday we have arranged the devices. Today we are going to do crimping. What is this crimping? We have our cables, right? See, some racks will be taller, some will be small, right? We will get the cable like this only. So we have to do the crimping according to ourselves, okay? In this rack, the router is here, switch is here. Then I'll crimp the cable according to my requirement. Sometimes it should not be too long also. Then your cables might be looking outside. It will look ugly on the rack. If it's smaller, then you can't reach the fourth device of the switch. So it should be done in such a way that our requirement. Okay. So how to do a crimping, I'll show you. So this is your CAT60 cable. Here you have a crimping tool. First, it should be, see here it is not proper. Now what I'll do, I will cut it properly first. Here you can take this. Then cut the cable. Okay. So remove the outer part. If you want more, you can remove it more. At the top, so you see this crimping tool, at the top here you have to place it, okay? Small press, and then, if you do this, it will come out, okay? Two things are there, see, here, and also here, down. The top one is to cut the cable, okay? And here you see a small gap, in this gap if you pull put the cable and if you pluck it, the outer shell will come like this. Okay, the top one is to cut the cable. Second one is to remove the pull of the outer shell. Okay, and here you see this. This is to cut it properly. See, everything should be even. Okay, I've removed the outer shell now. So place it here. That's it. See, it should be like this. Okay, now if I want to remove more. Like we have done our crimping cables. So our students have done eight straight through cables and eight crossover cables. In next video, I'll show you how to do the cabling part. Thank you. <laughs>